starting on May 18th, we're turning the workplace dial. Non-critical businesses like retail stores and Main Street businesses can reopen. Long-awaited news from Minnesota's governor as he announced that the stay-at-home order will be lifted. And the news that retail stores can reopen comes as a relief to many business owners. Valley News Team's Alexander Kay has more on tonight's announcement. Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz says he's going to allow the stay-at-home order to expire. Non-essential businesses can reopen on Monday in stages. We can take a measured Minnesota approach that protects public health and improves economic stability. This means a cautious strategic steps forward. And it means clear measures for determining if and when we need to pull back. Governor Wald says they are considering three things when safely reopening. First, how close are you and another person in a given setting or activity? Second, how long are you in that close proximity with another person? Third, how predictable that setting is. For an example, you're walking past people in a hardware store wearing a mask. That's less risky and more predictable than setting for a meal in a crowded restaurant. Governor Wall says those who choose to reopen must have a safety plan and operate at no more than 50% capacity. We need business owners to follow the new guidance to protect workers and customers. And we encourage customers to wear masks, socially distance, and don't congregate for long periods of time in stores. Walls adds that bars, restaurants, barbershops, and salons will open June 1st. This, Walls says, will coincide with increasing testing, tracing, and isolating the virus in the state. Many business owners who have been struggling are happy about the news. We will be so excited. We will be very happy. But we'll get the signs out at regular hours. Andrea Greif opened her business early, defying the governor's order. Yet she says she had to do it to avoid going under. In Moorhead, Alexander K. Valley News Live. Governor Walls said that the decision is fluid and can be dialed back if COVID-19 cases spike.